the previous video. We learned how to use the M5 stack buttons and the speaker to create a working kitchen timer. In this video, we will be learning how to use the IMU in the M5 stack to create a level. These are all the items you will need. The IMU sensor in the M5 stack gray consists of a gyroscope, accelerometer and a magnetometer. We won't be talking about how an IMU works in this video. For those interested in knowing how an IMU works, you can read more about it online. Reading a level is simple. The bubble will always go to the higher side. If the bubble is centered, the surface is level. We will open the IMU example in the Arduino to see how it works. I'm using the new Arduino ID here, but the old one should work the same. First we will need to add this one to let the M5 stack know which IMU. These few lines create variables to store the sensor data. This line gets the accelerometer data. This line prints out the data on the display. Let's use this to create out a level. Let's take a look at the code. First, we create a function to display the grid on the M5 stack. Next, we create another function to display the dot representing the bubble by passing in the coordinates. We initialize both the M5 stack and the IMU in the setup function. Lastly, we get the data from the accelerometer and passing it to the function we created previously. Let's upload it to the M5 stack. Although the code is working, there's some improvements we can make. 1. Although the M5 stack is made flat, the dot on the screen is not in the center, even after resetting. 2. The dot moves around even when the M5 stack is not tilted. 3. The dot moves too quickly when the M5 stack is tilted. 4. The screen flickering. We will take a look at how to solve each of these problems. We will take a look at each problem one at a time. First, to solve the centering problem, we assume that the M5 stack is placed on a horizontal surface from the beginning. Then we store the first acceleration data as an offset to compensate the value read from the accelerometer. Next, the value fluctuates because the accelerometer is sensitive to small vibrations. This causes the dot to move around even when the M5 stack is not tilted. We are going to fix it by taking the average of multiple values. We can see that the dot fluctuates less. Next, to prevent the dot from moving too quickly. We take the moving average to slow down the steep increase in the value from the accelerometer. The dot now moves slow after we tilt the M5 stack. We could make it faster by reducing the period of moving average. Finally, to reduce the screen flickering. We should only update only the dot rather than updating the whole display in every loop. Next. 
that's all for this video. Let us know what you would like to see next. See you in the next video.